Welcome to another episode of The Doctor and the Chef. Chef, how are you? Very well, thank you, Doctor. Uh, festive season has struck in... Uh, festive season indeed. Here's to all of our uh, viewers and uh, for a fabulous year, our first year, we are now officially passing our first Christmas. That's, that's true. Plenty so, of uh, fabulous uh, things that we thought we could potentially show on Christmas uh, or in relation to Christmas. The first naturally being some... Eggnog. Well, champagne. <laughs> <laughs> well, ah, we thought yes. we'd make some eggnog, and uh, we also thought we would drink champagne while making eggnog, because yeah. that's the best way to prepare for the festive season. Exactly. We're so festive, we can't help ourselves, because we're festiving it up. Now, I've got a question for you, Chef. H have you made eggnog before? Look, I haven't made eggnog before, but uh, looking at the recipe, I have to say, not that complicated. I would almost almost say anyone could do it. Anyone could do it. I'm getting close to thinking anyone can do this. Well, that's certainly something that we can uh, keep in mind. Let's, <laughs> let's just wait and see how, how this goes. Say, my, my dad, who can't boil an egg, not possibly really. This is one of his probably not one of the things he wants to do. Um, but not. I mean, more like anyone who has some vague cooking skills. Can vague imagine. cooking skills. Now, we've decided to try an eggnog. You can do eggnog uh, alcohol-free, apparently, but... <laughs> who would have alcohol-free eggnog? Oh, sorry, well, I mean, what I mean is, there are plenty of people out there who perhaps are alcohol-free, in which case you could have a virgin eggnog. But they're probably not watching our shows, so we thought, given that well, we were a show... Well, we have a few, there are a few out there that uh, think well, that we're true. incredibly that's hilarious so you... uh, and might just be watching for our good humour, Doc. That's true, so you can make this recipe without the alcohol that we're going to add. Anyway, let's let's get started. So, uh, Chef, what do we have to do? Okay, so we've got a pretty basic recipe here, which is a cup of sugar, two cups of uh, milk, whole milk. We use, we're use we using a South Australian whole milk called Tweedvale. Excellent. Uh, it's sort of a boutique-y pasteurised milk used in lots of cafes, spectacular milk. Real okay. milk, the real deal. Real milk. Cream in Excellent. Excellent. Very good. We've got six eggs. We've got a cup of cream. And, and the eggs, they've been... They've been separated. So separated. So... so, so we can have They're a... the egg yolks and they are the egg whites. Egg so I'll show you how to separate an egg. Really, really uncomplicated. Uh, we just put it over one bowl where we split the egg in half and we just do a little dance like that where the white is cut off and the yolk goes into there. Okay, so we're pouring those six egg yolks into our mixing bowl. Now we discussed this before. We were going to use a bowl and then we realised that it'd actually be much easier using the cup of sugar, the, the actual now tube here, because that way we won't go for Well, now there's a top tip. The top tip to start with is make sure you hold on to the thing first. Otherwise <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll so go everywhere. This is called creaming, creaming, the, creaming the sugar in the egg. So we've got the... You do this when you're uh, baking a cake as well, Doc. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't really do baking. No, That's not possibly thing. not your thing. No. Uh, so now uh, I believe we add our milk. I might just do that in a slightly more, or slightly less random fashion. Uh, oh shit, Doc, can you hold that for me? I can. Fuck, that was almost an absolute fuck up. Now it's two cups of milk here for this, uh, this bit we're adding in, which is good. Oh shit. There we go. Oh, we're starting again. So, uh, we've just had a bit of a pause, and what we've done is we've replaced the the jug thing that we had, which was turns out to be too small, and we've <laughs> added to it our, our big bowl. Okay. So, because there's more alcohol, more liquid that's more liquid going, into is going into this. So, the next thing after we've got the two cups of milk, or the full cream milk, we're adding a cup of cream. Cream. And uh, thick and cream, is it? Yeah, well, this is actually clotted cream, which is clotted cream. And I thought we'd use this whisk. I might just do that by hand. <laughs> We're creating a Here's fair, one we prepared earlier. Fair mess here. Oh, thanks. Excellent. There we go. Oh, look. Look at that. Uh, okay, so pause there for a few minutes. And we now add as much of this as we see fit, it turns out, according to the recipe. So if you want it severely alcoholic like I... Oh, we will. Oh, yeah. Like. Cheers. <laughs> Let's have a glass of champagne for that to celebrate. <laughs> Excellent. And that, my friends, is the eggnog. Now we have to put it in the fridge to chill it down, which we will do so in, in, in now. Uh, and then by the through the magic of television, it will come back and it'll be nice and chilled and we'll be able to taste it. Okay, so it's about an hour in the, in the fridge, mm. that's what I suggest, isn't it? According to the... Uh, 
according to the recipe, yes. Excellent. We'll, so we'll see how we go. The fridge, we'll see how we go. Okay, great. Okay, through the magic of television, we, we have now absorbed an entire hour in the fridge. Mm. And we have these. Might have been close to two and a half hours. Maybe. And we might have been in close to a long time. that even. Well, there was a lot more. But what it came through time. this process. But what I have found uh, is that we have a spectacular little brew going in the original plan, mm. which was the uh, creamed egg yeah. with yeah. Uh, effectively with bourbon. And then I've also got the egg got whites. The egg whites, which I've whisked into a very. <laughs> <laughs> into a very almost, almost a meringue. So I'm giving them a good whisking. And then uh, they're at soft peaks, we call them. We call it soft peaks, which is the point at which you fold them into the egg knock. And by folding, you don't want to lose any of the air that you're adding to the mixture. You're trying to keep it light and fluffy. So that is as much stirring as you do. And, and then, then we pour this straight into the cups. Hang on. Okay. okay let's hang on. And we, but we also have some nutmeg. I have nutmeg. some nutmeg on top. So you like the way uh, the chef held his glass, but you know. All right, get into it. Get into it, brother. All right. Look, it's got a bit of head on it. It's. Uh, Oh, classic European oh. goodness. So, Holy shizzle. I oh, mean, I don't know what to say. The only thing that I can add at this point is that the recipe says if you add another cup of neat spirit, your eggnog will last an Water. extra month. Yeah. So any, so it's half a cup if you gent, oh sorry, zero if you're not into alcohol, half a cup if you want to share it around with your friends and your kids who are sort of up to 12 above. Yeah. Uh, then, then, then one after half, that, one and a half cups, which is what one we've and done. a half cups if it's adult only, which is what we've done. Cheers. But that'll last for up to three to four weeks, so mm. you can make it now. I've got to say, I've always looked at eggnog as this thing, and I've never quite understood it. Yeah, I now get it. You understand it? It's like drinking custard. Good no, luck I like to you. Custard, but I like Good this. luck to you, Northern Hemisphere. Another Let's episode roll. of the Doctor and the Chef. Ah, <laughs> oh, eggnog. Here we go. Try it. Ah. Try it. Let's play. All right. Thanks for.